Hi friends, uh, welcome back to another uh, stream of Biting Cats Let's Elden Ring. As a reminder, um, in this uh, in this series, uh, we're doing a complete playthrough of From Software's Elden Ring, uh, with emphasis on um, accessibility for beginners. Um, that is, we're we're trying to uh, do a run through that's uh, going to be convenient, uh, not convenient, comfortable for for people who perhaps find uh, difficulty, the rumored difficulty of From Software games a little uh, daunting. Uh, in truth, there's a lot of options available to players of all skill levels to succeed in Elden Ring. So uh, we're not really going to be doing uh, farming here or grinding. Um, because it isn't really necessary. We're just going to focus on getting good upgrades and uh, good gear that can carry us through the game. All right. So last time when we played, uh, we uh, defeated the, our first shard bearer or demigod. These are the major uh, bosses of the game, and each of them have a, a fragment of or shard of the Elden Ring which is a series of runes uh, that we can uh, gather for ourselves and use for power uh, so the first thing we need to do is actually go and recover uh, the rune of Godric uh, the Grafted who we killed uh, last episode so we'll do that uh, and then there's a couple of small dungeons I want to clear that'll help us get ready for what's to come So we're going to travel uh, to this bridge here off the castle. If you remember, the boss was here. Now we're going to come back over here. And we, we killed some uh, what are called golems uh, for a little extra XP so we can level up uh, last time. I think they'll be back, and I think we'll probably uh, kill them again if they are, uh, just because why not. Um... But after we do that, uh, we want to do still more upgrades on our weapon, uh, which as you've seen is uh, really good at staggering some stuff, and it's, it's going to get even better at that. Um, there he goes. So a couple of charge thrusts, and, and this guy will go down. Um, we're not doing anything special here. Uh, just as always, you want to. Whoa! <laughs> hey, friend. Uh, as always, you want to roll into the attack. Um, we're kind of just hoping that uh, those arrows aren't going to hit us. They could. Uh, but they usually don't. You know, I mean, the main thing is, you know, don't panic. We, we've we put a lot of points into Vigor so that if one of these things hits us, it's just not a big deal. You know, we we earned that. You know, we fought for that. So, you know, don't freak out. It's okay to get hit. Um, everybody does. Um, we didn't do a glass cannon build because, again, this is supposed to be a comfortable, uh, enjoyable uh, playthrough for you know individuals of all levels so you know our focus is um, making a character that can survive and not necessarily a character that does the maximum uh, damage per second right um, and uh, that you know that's one reason why stagger is so important to this build you know even if we're not just cranking out magic uh, you know mega hit points damage you know we can make things fall down and do a lot of damage that way, right? Um, if you can't, if you can't kill them, just knock them down, right? So, so that's one of the uh, key uh, strategies in play here. And uh, hopefully, if you're playing along or trying some of these tactics yourself, you'll see how effective it is. But where are we? We've kind of teleported to the other end of the bridge. Now we can go down there. Um, there's some pretty uninteresting loot as well as some. Uh, some like eagles if you want to uh, you know farm feathers there's also some of those really mean birds that throw fire and have swords on their feet and to me that makes it a non-starter like I, I know I know I can go down there and kill all those things 
Um, but I, I don't feel like it. <laughs> you know, to me, that's not worth the trouble. Um, there's a lot better things I could be doing with my time. You know, this is like an 80-hour game. <laughs> You've got to decide where you want to invest your time. If you want to go get bird feathers, maybe you're an archery build and you're not, you know, you're making all your own arrows. You know, that's valid. You know, go down there and get them. Uh, but for this build, it's just really not important. Anyway, every shard bearer, I shouldn't say shard bearer, I mean, it's the same thing. Every demigod uh, has their own divine tower. And so this is Godric's divine tower. And there isn't really a lot to do here other than kind of take in the drama of it. You know, it's a massive structure. Um, they're, you know, incredibly high up off the ground, which can give you interesting views. Um, so we're here now. Um, and this is a uh, geography we haven't even unlocked yet. Like, we can't see it on our map. So that's kind of an interesting view. But we come up here, and what we'll find is some dead fingers, interestingly enough. And these are, uh, you know, decayed and very decrepit looking. And then in the midst of them is this great rune. And that's Godric's rune. And the way these things work, um, you can equip one. And while you have it equipped, it's not really doing anything. Um, not really. Um, you really have to, to get its power, you have to um, use a rune arc, which are rare items um, that you find throughout the game. Some, some vendors actually sell them. Uh, but, uh, you know, you're, you're going to be limited, at least at first, in how many you can use. Uh, because I, I tend to hoard things, unfortunately, I uh, always end the game with a whole pile of rune arcs that I just, I didn't use. Um, so you may not want to be that careful with them. But anyway, as we can see here over on the right, it raises all your attributes. Um, I actually always kind of just use this one. There are other runes, they do other things, but I actually just kind of like Godric's the best. It's kind of a general all-purpose uh, fire and forget uh, upgrade. Um, right now we have zero uh, rune arcs, so we can't really benefit it at all. Some, some of the uh, merchants we've seen actually have them in stock. I can level up again. Those giants are really profitable. Let's go ahead and do that. And I think what I really want to do now is alternate uh, between vigor and intelligence for a while. I mean, we're going to have to get that mind up to 20 eventually. Um, but I feel like we're ready for some more intelligence after kind of uh, sitting on it for a long really long time okay so next what I said I would do is um, some uh, I said that we would do some dungeons and, and so we will so the first thing I kinda wanna do is um, let's see if I can remember where it is I think there's one like right over here Let's see if I can find it. If I'm wrong, I might have to uh, cheat and look at a map. We'll see. Oh, wait. No. Yeah, that's not what I want. I want... Um, pretty sure I want the one over here. Let's... Um, let's start over here. night there's actually there is a night boss over here that'll turn up um, so unless you feel like getting surprised on your way somewhere else uh, you'll want to rest like I do
just kind of picking up what we can. Oh, I need to adjust my flasks. We'll clear out this little area first. Now this is a large, uh, larger than usual ruins area, um, though some of them are pretty extensive. These uh, enemies are surprisingly resilient. Um, as you can see, those dogs can be kind of annoying uh, since they can dodge fairly well. Um, come down here. I don't think this is anything good. We're just kind of cleaning up. Huh, we'll take it. And just to, this is where we are now. We're on uh, this side of the lake, the east side. I'm going to go around to the front door. You got to watch these guys because they have those. Uh, yeah, you see that. Um, they have these little like jars of magic they can throw at you. Um, so you, you really don't want to let them goof off for too long because they will throw it at you, and it does kind of hurt. Yeah, these guys are really durable, as you can see. Oh, boy. I think these are guys that were from the road and just heard us fighting. Uh, it's not usually that exciting here. We must be done because he's disappearing. So this is a thing sometimes when you're uh, these helpful players, of course, it will tell us to try rolling. Um, but you'll see these like boards uh, on the floor. They're covering the stairs, as we've talked about every. Um, Every ruin has a basement, and this is no exception. So we get another one of those uh, gross grapes, and this is important. Um, we get a two fingers heirloom. What does that do? Well, it's a talisman, and it um, raises our faith. Um, there's a couple of uh, situations where we'll want actually to use um, some faith incantations they're not super demanding but they are more than we have right now so we'll wear that and then we can use them um, those two particular cases if you're curious one of them is a spell that cures rot uh, which we will definitely need at, at a later date and the other is if we want to cheese uh, certain enemies with poison is a poison incantation and uh, we may well want to do that um, you may or may not respect it but like I said before it's kind of a uh, time-honored tradition and you know I'm just gonna offer it as an option if you're struggling uh, there's a couple of um, fights that I consider uh, I don't know a little rich and I you may just get annoyed and won't, not want to deal with them anymore. And if that if that turns out to be you, uh, you'll have some options in those cases. 
there have been enemies like this since Demon Souls, the first From Souls game. Uh, so, uh, you know, From isn't leaving these things in by mistake. You know, it's not an accident. You're not glitching the game out. You know, this is just something. Maybe they think it's legit. Maybe they think it's funny. I don't. I don't really know, but uh, it keeps turning up as a thing, and it's a thing here too. Next up, now that we got our talisman that we needed, we should be able to see a. Uh, there it is. Some grace. We're going to rest here. And I'm going to actually change my flasks distribution. Let's try five and two. Now, this is kind of a funky fight. Uh, we're gonna, it's another giant, although this one can do magic. But the basic strategy stays the same. Don't stand in front of it. You know, roll into it, get behind its feet. Uh, do some stabby stab. Uh, get your, uh, um, you know, your phalanx skill out if you want. And just take your time here. Um, eventually that big giant is going to show up. And uh, there he is. I'm going to just try to roll into him here. already fell. So this guy has a lot of health but it looks like he's pretty uh, susceptible to stagger so you just gotta keep keep under his feet. He's already down again. So as long as you keep catching these uh, critical attacks you're gonna you're gonna get him. So that's clearing the area and our buddy left. So now we can kind of loot the place. So Golden Rune 6, that's very nice. Um, come up here, get the Lucerne. You know, something I could have done instead of getting the uh, Claymore if I'd wanted to was. Um, get the Lucerne instead, which is a kind of halberd. Um, has a nice downward slash. Um, but, you know, I'm, I'm team uh, Claymore. I actually wish uh, we could get a better Claymore. We're going to run out of gas with this weapon eventually because of uh, its magic scaling is underwhelming and the higher our magic gets the less powerful this weapon is going to feel um, like right now it's doing a pretty great job but once we start getting around to like a 40 intelligence we're gonna this is gonna be kinda underwhelming really um, it peaks out at C um, and being a pure magic build we really want an A level weapon 
as our main uh, melee weapon. Which means we have to keep looking. This isn't it. This is just our intermediary weapon. Good news is, though, is that we're using uh, normal upgrade smithing stones. So um, when we do get our weapon of choice, we can we'll have a whole bunch of somber smithing stones just for that, right? We won't have uh, spread ourselves too thin. So we can uh, we can throw all the upgrades of this we want. They're not gonna. Uh, we won't regret it later. Still, still early day. Um, if you go down there, there's a big bear you can fight. Um, but uh, we're not fighting big bears as part of this playthrough um, at all. There's a big bear at the bottom of a cave, but the I don't think the loot there is really worth it for our build. So we're not going there. We're not fighting him. <laughs> you know, not in a forest, not on a cliff, not in a cave. <laughs> No big bears. We've activated that uh, thing. And even though we'll never use it, uh, we came down here and it's done. Um, we can take the thing up from here if we want. not very far from where we were earlier. There's a couple of noteworthy things here. There's uh, the Jar Village, which yes, we will visit. And the other is that there's a there's a cave near here somewhere, which I can't remember if it's this way Nope, that's not this way. It's down here. Yep. So let's go on down here. This is there's kind of a hassle down here. A bunch of these little guys are going to come out and ambush you. Uh, don't fight them. It's not worth it. Um, at least you know. To me, there's no measurable sense, unless you uh, again, unless you just think it's fun, in which case by all means do it. Do whatever seems fun. Um, but when we ride down here, we'll see this little crook where we can kind of double back. And here, there's the catacombs. rest there's an opening here and we don't really need this at all we've got like 50 grave glove wart twos but you know if, if you like have a mind to experiment with every one of them Maybe it's good for you. This, of course, is a trap. So, yeah, you see that guy? Y'all know the drill with these by now. Uh, they're, they're all ambushes. You know, so don't don't get yourself in a bad spot. We're down here to get a ghost glove wart three. Uh, if we're in the right place, I think we are. Um, so we can get our headless friend one more uh, upgrade. 
As always, there's no harm in going around a corner with your shield up. You know, what's the worst that could happen? Yeah, this is the one. Now, there's some things over here. Um, if you, for instance, want to uh, um, get the silver tier mask, which if you're doing an arcane build, you pro you might, because very few equipment upgrades arcane, uh, then you can follow this path here. Um, you can also find a scythe, which is generally regarded to be a cool weapon. Um, you'll have to fight at least two, um, yeah, at least one, and probably two omens, which are uh, pretty tough. You know, it's a resilient uh, guy. Um, they don't always flinch when you attack them. Uh, heavy attack, probably, but anyway, it, it's not success is not guaranteed um, but that doesn't lead you to the boss or the end or anything else but you have that choice I'll walk down just a little to show you um, there's a guy around the corner here I think I think we all saw him So that thing up there, if you have a stone sword key, you can get the um, the mimic tier uh, mask, which is he pretty heavy, but it does give you an arcade bonus and has good armor as well. This thing you can lock onto down here is an omen that you can fight down there. Um, I can't remember what it, you get for it. And then there's another one here. Now, the tricky thing about him is you kind of have to follow him under the shelter there because there's two imps up on top of this ledge throwing uh, throwing magic pots at you. And they have a way of interrupting your heavy attack uh, just when you need to interrupt the omens attack right so it's it's not an easy fight um it's, you know it's not you've done harder things if you're following along you've done more difficult things than that but you're only going to get about a thousand xp a piece and you're going to get a scythe and if you don't want it and if you don't want more grave glove wart threes then there's really other than the satisfaction of doing it, there's really nothing there. Now that one we see down there is a Ghost Glove Ward 3. That is the whole reason we are here. Um, it's guarded. We only see one, but it's actually guarded by two. There's one behind a wall somewhere. We can just uh, cheese this guy, and we're going to see how much health he seems to have. You get 492 runes for that, so it's less than I thought. I thought you got a thousand, but you don't get a thousand. Now, if I'm not mistaken, the exit is to the right, but we've got some time to get out. So we're gonna jump down. We're gonna duck, and we're gonna get out of here. You don't have to fight that other one unless you want to. You know, I've done it. It's not the end of the world. Now check this out. There he is. But we can set off a trap. Wait till you can hear it pop up again. Pretty nice, huh? Again, barely any XP for that. 
Yeah, there's our prize, Ghost Gov Lord 3. We're going to put that on our headless buddy. Now there's another one over here to the left if you would like yet another 500 runes. I can't remember what he's guarding, honestly. So, you know, with this stuff, you know, do do whatever you think you need to do. Um, if you want to kind of split the difference, one thing you can do is you can pull this, this lever. But he kind of runs, you see. So, you know, you're using almost a full flask on him. Again, you can stagger him. He did stagger, probably because of the phalanx. And if we had followed up with some heavy attacks, we could get a critical hit on him. You know, the bad news is that wouldn't be enough to kill him. You'd have to do it again. So. You know, it's up to you how confident you feel and what you think is worthwhile. Uh, just for completionist's sake, let's see what he was guarding up there. Page Ashes. So, uh, you know, maybe you want that, maybe you don't. But the rewards for that situation are basically that's worth whatever you think it's worth if you think that's worth something then then go for it if that doesn't seem worthwhile to you uh, to me I, I already know what I want to use for my uh, uh, ashes and the page is a part of that picture but you might want to experiment some you know let's see if there's a stake of Marika here <laughs> Because if there's not, we've got to go all the way back up to re-up. Yeah, because I don't have enough flasks to do this. Let's read what it is, see if I can remind myself. Dog. Well, the funny thing about a dog is people use it for all kinds of things. So um, it could be a burial watchdog, it could be something else. This is, again, you can watch me try to find it and decide, you know, hey, does this seem seem worth the trouble to you? Um, you can see what runes are in play and, and what the reward is. I mean, the main thing is we've already succeeded. If you get that uh, uh, glove, Ghost Glove Wart 3, uh, then this uh, expedition has already been a success. And it doesn't really matter if you die or lose your runes. I mean, hey, you want to keep your runes, but the most important thing is that upgrade material, which we have now. So, all right. So there's, there's a guy on the ceiling. Oh, no, this is wrong. I misremembered. Well, that's okay. But there's one on the ceiling still, isn't there? Or did I make that up? Huh. Must be somewhere else. Anyway. Unfortunately, I shouldn't have used magic, because remember, I need a whole flask to summon our buddy. So we're basically going to burn, burn through one on that. Um, let's pop our... Uh, There we go. Yeah, watchdog. This one throws magic, that's right. He's still vulnerable to magic, though. So we just. Um, he 
He's really doing a number on our buddy, though. So we don't want to wait too long. See, I got caught on that root there. <laughs> We're gonna go back though, that's all right. It's kind of annoying that we have to go down the lift again, but whatever. I need to be more aggressive. It's, uh, our shield buddy isn't really holding up. Uh, to that damage very well which is why we're upgrading them a little clumsy but I'm trying to hold on to my uh, magic so I don't have to waste a whole flask all right let's see how we do I'll try not to get caught on the uh, the roots this time Just gonna spam him because he's busy. <laughs> oh man, what's wrong with me? I think you've probably only seen me die like twice. Um, now I'm just getting uh, crushed by this guy. It's wild. lost my runes too which is a shame I think I had like 8,000 that's okay as I've said you know don't don't risk what you can't bear to lose you know that's uh remember that he can't really hit you while you're in that animation so just have your shield ready so that when it's done you can get it up like that. All right, here's take three. Let's see how it goes. Um, closer so that I can uh, not get caught on a wall and I'm gonna try to just stay away until my buddy can get aggro which he's not really doing there he goes uh, why am I so bad at timing that gonna get him anyway though he's doing that fire he's gonna get locked into that and they're just gonna kind of let him have it yeah <sighs> man oh man this is a good ash actually um, especially since it uses the uh, grave glove wart so um, it's a nice alternative um, you know it's good to have more than one upgrade line, 
right? Because we're eventually going to want to use our glo ghost glove warts for something else. But the grave ones were pretty much free to do whatever we like. Anyway, that thing, that guy's nowhere near as resilient as uh, Ludle the Headless, but um, he is very aggressive, which can be great, you know, in terms of uh, keeping uh, bad guys off of you and keeping their attention. Uh, so we are going to go back and um, get this upgrade put on, but I want to... I want to get out of here first and may, maybe activate some uh, activate some sites of grace so I can kind of pick up here when we come back. But yeah, that was job job one. Um, so we did that it was good actually I've got no reason to come down here you can go to the end of the road uh, you can get a spear which uh, scales with strength dex and faith and it's, it's actually a very good spear uh, if you have uh, faith at all um, for us though that's not really going to be super helpful that's just not something uh, we we're going to ever use in this you know we're going to use that talisman just to get up to 14 so I mean that's that's just uh, it's not a big uh, faith build here um, Let's go ahead and get our upgrade, and then we'll go and do the next thing. But I want to go down the hill and do one other thing first. This is back to those ruins on the side of the lake. There's a little uh, teleporter here. Let's just go ahead and uh, go to the other side of it. This takes us to the front door of the academy, uh, which is where we're going to fight our second shard bearer. Um, Rena, who happens, or Renala, who happens to be uh, the mother of Ronnie the Witch, uh, who gave us our um, spirit bell for calling uh, the wolves and all of our other Ash friends. Uh, so you have to get through these guards usually, um, but we can we can skip all of that now. Um, however. It's locked. We need a key. And if you remember a long time ago, back in that church, uh, we were told we needed a key to get in. And we can look at uh, this map we just picked up. Um, as you can see by that little blue blob there, it's uh, sub supposedly on an island just to the west of the academy. Um, that would be this island here, presumably. Um, we don't need that right now, though. We're going to do something else. We're going to go all the way up here. Making a stop or two along the way. could get another memory stone up there if we wanted one and who knows maybe we will someday it's um it's not high on my list right now these uh halberd that halberd there 
is a prized weapon uh, for people doing arcane builds. Unfortunately, it's a fairly rare drop. Um, so you're probably signing yourself up to a good amount of uh, farming, potentially, if you want to get that weapon. Um, there just aren't many weapons that uh, scale purely with arcane. Um, especially ones that you can additionally add uh, debuffs to. Uh, so it's, it's a very unique weapon. Plus it has the nice moveset of a halberd. Uh, you know, it, it doesn't have anything to do with what we're up to right now. It's just as a general note, uh, it's it's pretty awesome if you're trying to do an arcane build. And arcane builds are lots of fun. You can tie them in with the dragon breath and uh, some incantations. And uh, to me, it's a really good time. I think a lot of people think of it mainly in terms of uh, bleed or hemorrhage. But there's a lot more to arcane than that, um, which there'd better be because a lot of the late game bosses are immune to bleed. So if, if you have a pure bleed uh, kit, uh, you're gonna just uh, be having a really hard time. That's a cuckoo knight. Um, he's very hard to kill. Uh, his magic blocks. Uh, mag uh, his shield blocks magic almost entirely um, the cuckoo shield um, so he's he's basically geared up uh, to defeat people like us um, what do you need I don't want any trouble I mean don't get me wrong it can't be done um I'm just really activating this. I don't think there's anything we want. You know, we don't want great arrows or uh, ballista bolts. Bellum Church. Here's another sacred tier. Just level set where we are. You know, we rode up here, then we came up the hill. Bellum Highway is this road that goes through the academy down here. And originally went down, remember that bridge that we jumped off of to sequence break the castle? Yeah, it leads all the way down here. And it becomes, you know, these systems of roads here. So, um, it's kind of a road that uh, led from uh, the castle area all the way to this, what's called the Grand Lift, um, that can take you to the Atlas Plateau, uh, which is outside uh, the area where uh, the Royal City is. It's kind of a mid-late game area. But we're not going to that lift or going down that road. We're we're go we're following the river up to its headwaters. So we're going right back down. We're going to ride past the cuckoo again. Just doesn't do a lot of damage. And that was in the back. Never mind when it has the shield out. I think you can drop that shield. Um, I don't know what the chances are. So here we are kind of at the headwaters. Um, I don't honestly know what all's here. There's some uh, there's some bats in the woods. Um, but we're gonna get our share of bats here in a bit. That's our first smithing stone five. 
pretty precious item. Um, we're going to touch base. See, we can add a charge. That's very nice. So, how do we want to do that? Whenever uh, you add a charge, it automatically puts it on health. That's probably good, though. You think 3 and 5 sounds good? I do. We'll find out. It is definitely possible to run out later in this process. We'll see. And again, just to you know, level set, we're all the way up at the end of the waters here. Oh, jumping off of ledges. <laughs> Finger Maiden talked about kind of taking the coward's way um, to the Atlas Plateau, and um, that's what this is. I guess it's the coward's way. Um, you don't be, have to be pretty per, uh, particularly brave to go the other way, um, unless you mean like brave enough to give up a crap load of smithing stones. <laughs> That's what going this way will get you. There's no similar benefit going the other way. So there are a couple things. Uh, there are these miners here. There are also um, some of those little guys the vulgar militia. Smithing Stone 4. Um, some of these guys will also drop Smithing Stone 4 and ideally some will. Um, we probably need an extra one to get everything we need. We'll find out. We need a total of 12. So now we've got two, so we need ten more. Turn on my lamp. So these little guys like to ambush. Um, there's, there's one there. There's another one. You, maybe you can see him. He's behind that... Uh, Once you have that cleared away, uh, it's really dangerous to just kind of run around in this area. And the reason for that is, you see these little, they're dark, like black spiked balls on the ground. Those contain poison. Um, and if you step on one, you'll almost certainly be poisoned. Um, We'll make a couple. It's a shame we don't have more uh, stuff for them. Um, and I'm just going to put them here. Hopefully we'll never need them, right? Keep your eye on the floor. Don't run around. Don't just go rolling chaotically. You can see there are a bunch more right here. Yeah. Even if something kind of comes out and makes you pack, panic like that, you know, put up your shield, take stock of the situation. Um, so back here we get two more that's nice now I guess we need eight but yeah keep an eye on these little spiky things what's this say be wary of left Oh, can you see him? Just take your time, you know. There's some stuff up on ledges up here. It's kind of awkward to get to. You have to jump off a moving platform, you know. Uh, 
it's not worth it to me. Um, you know, to climb up that ladder again, you know, I, I just forget it. Um, but if you're a completionist, um, or you think it'll be satisfying, you know, go for it. Around this corner, there'll be, remember, the loose, the free agent. Keep an eye out for those. If they're not mining, they're enemies. behind the thing here. The other one's going to come out. Don't As you can see, we've got more spiky stuff on the ground. You may not even want to come in here. I mean, it's lightning grease, and we can't buff magic weapons, so, you know, it's, it's nothing for us. There's some surprises up here. Keep your eye on your magic, make sure you have some. Uh, this guy on the right, I just kind of shut him down. There's this guy. There's that guy. There's another one hanging out in here. And that should be that. There's another four. There's our first rune arc. That's cool. Don't miss these over here. This guy blows up, so you definitely want to kill him from a distance, which I may not be able to do. Oh, there we go. And thus ends phase one. Pretty amazing view here, isn't it? There's the grand lift. There's the highway. That off in the distance is the academy, which is our next big goal. Let's take a rest. Wait till morning, as always. six which means we need six more hopefully we can achieve that um, there are of course other options but um, it would be nice just to wrap this up there's a lot of bats here that can surprise you you see that guy there but how about that bat just bats everywhere see there there's one now if these bats aren't uh, aware of you they only take one hit once they see you it's two 
There's another one there. You see how this is? They drop nice rooms, which is cool. It's not really worth going down here, but I'll do it since it's easy. I don't know how I messed up that backstab. I guess it's okay. These somber smithing stones are kind of piling up. Um, you only need one to upgrade to the next level, so. It's not like these regular smithing stones where you need 12, you know, to do three. Um, so the lower level somber ones really just you end up with a whole stack of them. Unless you just want a bunch of plus four weapons, which you don't. <laughs> you know, um, it just stops being worthwhile. Um, okay. Okay. We could get jumped here, so we need to be a little conservative. And we definitely don't need to get caught um, without magic. So keep an eye on your levels. Hear that creepy music? It's awesome. This one always comes first. They take more hits um, once they know you're there. This guy is actually the one that's doing the singing. Um, they probably cast magic. Um, and poison and stuff so we're gonna unload on them but then we're gonna need a drink again hopefully it all just works out got him so that's good there's another one though you see Oh, unfortunately saw us, so we have to hit him twice. That's why it's important. Don't get yourself too low on magic here. Um, it's not that you can't defeat those bats with melee, because you can. You totally can. Um, but it's not. It's not cool. It. It, it can. So much can go wrong. Um, their movements are kind of chaotic. Okay, so we got two more. So at this point, we need four more. We are almost there. Hopefully, there will be enough. Though I feel we had bad luck. I mean, some of these, those miners down in the tunnel do drop um, stones, and none of them did. So. Um, I hope we have enough, but I don't actually know. See this guy? Yeah. Oh, that's great. So he's the kind of thing I'm talking about when I say don't run out of magic. Because um, I, I had one cast left. These octopi are really just here um, to mess with your lock-on so that you um, end up attacking them while a bat's flying at you. So, you know, don't fall into that trip. You know, make sure you're locked on the right thing. Alright, now we need three more.
we'll deal with that musical stuff in a second. We're doing pretty well on time. This area is going to be the last thing we do for the night. Um, that'll situate us uh, to upgrade both uh, our, our ashes and our sword. Um, so there's smithing stone four. Now what, what do we need? Three? Two. We need two. I still think we might have needed to get lucky with a drop. See how this is. That other one, there's no way we can. Uh, I don't think there's any way to get it without aggroing. Yeah, see. Whoops. This may really blow up on us. Try to unload. This one, unfortunately, is casting spells. We just wasted our last magic on him. Magic is not doing shit to him. <laughs> that was great. Well, the good news is we can get up there a lot faster. <laughs> awesome. I've never um, died there before. I'm surprised, though, how uh, little damage my arrows were doing. I guess I should invest in my bow a little bit. Of course it's important, see if I can take my own advice, but when you, uh, 
have to run a long way back to your stuff. Um, it's easy to get impatient. <laughs> don't, don't, uh, oh, look. Well, that's a blessing, actually. We need, we need that. Now all we need is one more. So maybe this all work out fine. I wonder if I can come all the way up here. Unfortunately, the ladder... is there. So there's probably no way for me to go up the ladder safely without taking everything out. irritating wasting all my stuff I might have to do something a little uh, desperate here so I think I have two goals now at this point um, three goals get my runes get the stone that I see over on the side and get up the ladder God Just need one more. So let's look. See that? That's the stone we want. So, um, we're not going to get greedy this time. That one over, that one close to the thing is just, it's too close. Summon our buddy. Now, unfortunately, our tears are over there, so we're going to be running right into the thick of things.
And off we go. there. That all seems pretty good, doesn't it? So let's go. We've got our thing activated. Short on threes? Oh man, what a heartbreaker. I don't even know where to get threes. I guess I'll have to look that up. Well, we'll try this boss, and if we, if we don't have what it takes, we'll figure something else out. In any case, the goal of getting a glove wart three and getting twelve uh, fours has been accomplished. So... What about this boss anyway? This is a magma worm. There's a few of them in the game. Um, they tend to lurch forward. They breathe magma on the ground, which basically creates uh, dangerous terrain that will injure you by standing on it. Um, they're, they're kind of susceptible, though, to being staggered and uh, getting stuck with critical hits. So what we're going to want to do here is you know, make heavy use of our phalanx, uh, roll past and to the side, and do a lot of heavy thrust attacks. Um, let's make sure our physic is um, configured for heavy attacks right now. Yeah, so we'll, we're going to go in there, we're going to we're gonna have a phalanx, we're going to do charged attacks, and if this doesn't work after a few attempts, we'll, we'll go do something else, okay? takes him a while for to come around the corner here so we got a second um, let's go ahead and uh, drink the flask let's bring up the phalanx now again the important thing is to get don't just dodge um, you don't want to stay in front of him and since he's not a giant you can't really get behind his legs you got to get past him beside him so here he comes camera was definitely not my friend there <laughs> I don't know what the hell happened um, but yeah it's okay we'll just go right back in um, we can give this you know three or four more tries before we give up Don't be afraid to just run. Just run past him. It's kind of making it hard, but we got him there. Um, so let's get a stab in on him. And see, that's not awful. I mean, yeah, it could be better. Be 
did it to him again. Unfortunately, he's... up against the wall, so can't really, uh, Got him again. So hopefully this will do it if we get there in time. No, nope, but close. Got him. So you know the thing is there, you know, just get beside him, hold down the run button, you know, if you need to. Um, you don't have to just dodge, you can just sprint just get out from in front of him if he does that big lift up he's, it's going to be that delay thing again you got to just wait and wait and wait until the last minute um, but you know my goodness look at this we level up a couple of times so I think the the deal for right now is one for vigor and one for intelligence and we'll worry about getting the mind to 17 probably for too long all right um, that's pretty much gonna wrap it up I'll find the other threes and we'll we'll go collect them next time but for now Take the lift. And now I've successfully taken the cowards. Uh, route to Atlas Plateau. Now, we're not really going to be spending time here. Uh, our goal is still to clear the lake. Uh, this is just a, the best way to get a bunch of uh, smithing stones for. So we've accomplished our goal. Um, and again, next time we'll we'll get those upgrades completed, and we'll take on the academy. That'll probably take a couple of nights, but we'll see. Um, but things are going pretty well you know if you have trouble with the the worm you know go you know wait till next time when we can upgrade the sword and then try again uh he'll definitely go down a lot easier uh with four more uh levels of upgrades on on that uh claymore um, but he's going down pretty easy now you know just stay to the side use the phalanx charge attacks he'll go he'll go down anyway I think that's going to do it for this time. Uh, thanks, everybody, for tuning in. You know, if you enjoy this kind of thing, um, by all means, uh, you know, follow me. You know, you can check out my social media. Uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, you know, you come over to Twitch. Check in. Uh, it'd be good to talk to you. Anyhow, that's it for tonight. We'll be back tomorrow and every other weeknight this week. Thanks.